Okay. okay. So if I were to ask you what animated film from last year had Sandra Bullock, John Hamm, Michael Keaton, Allison Janery, Stephen Coogan, Jennifer Saunders, Jeffrey Rush, and Steve Carell, what movie would you say? Home? Would you have said Home because it happens to be the, the review that's going on here? Well, you're wrong. It isn't Home. It's Minions. So take that. Trying to be a smartass on me. Ha ha. <laughs> anyway, going with Home, uh, directed by Tim Johnson and starring Jim Parsons, Rihanna, Steve Martin, and Jennifer Lopez. Um, yeah, it, for those of you that don't know, this film did come out. It, it came out on March 27th of last year, and I'm... I would be surprised if y'all haven't forgotten about it at this point because honestly it's not a very memorable movie. Now I'm a fan of DreamWorks movies in general. Like they've done a lot of good movies. And I don't think this movie's bad. I just don't think it's very good. Uh, which sounds like the same thing. But it's not. Trust me. So anyway, getting into this uh, movie, we have an alien. Well, an alien species that kind of are, they're running away from <laughs> from their problems and uh, the uh, running away from this other alien race or whatever that they think wants to annihilate them. So these Boov uh, end up coming to Earth and they move every human into one uh, location, Australia, which I don't know how that would technically... Yeah, I'm not getting into that. Anyway, all except for Rihanna's character. And then, in celebration of his new environment and everything, Jim Parsons, uh, Booth character, O, ends up sending a text that apparently he has everyone in his friends list. So it's going to go to the alien race that they're running from. And so he gets kind of denounced as being an idiot, <laughs> pretty much. And he's, you know, on the run, so he doesn't get arrested and vaporized. I'm not really sure how that works. But anyway, he runs into Rihanna's character, Tip, who is looking uh, for her mother, who was, you know, taken when everyone else uh, was. So they kind of go on a, an adventure together, trying to find out where her mother is and also being on the run from Steve Martin's character, Captain Smick and all the other boob that are uh, pursuing them. So anyway, yeah, this this movie, first, it I want to say it does have a couple funny moments here or there. A little light, a little light, but it, it does have a couple funny moments to it. And it kind of has a good meaning behind it. Like, I mean, the intention of the movie seemed to be well. You know, it's there's this whole thing about facing your fears and you know accepting differences with each other and there's a strong you know you have a strong female lead who's not willing to back down to you know be with her you know her mother her loved ones so yeah, it has those for it that and I, I'd say the acting is is fine Jim Parsons is well he's Sheldon just straight Sheldon in alien form. It works here well enough. Jennifer Lopez didn't have very many um, very many lines, but she was fine. Rihanna was was fine, although she didn't come across as young as her character was, but I didn't even know Steve Martin was in it. I mean, looking back on it now, I'm like, okay, I can see some indication there, but I, I certainly didn't know it going in. But while this movie you know means well and while it has a few moments that are funny the plot is the plot doesn't work it, do, it doesn't work at all and i know animated movies it's like well hold on a second 
you know, plots can be a little obscure in animated films and everything. They don't, they don't have to be... You don't have to have everything spoon-fed to you or anything like that, but there's... I don't know. It's it's like it's very weird editing because they, they take over Earth in a, a day, the boove. They take over Earth in a day, and then we get flashbacks like later on in the movie to the same day, but just, you know, just a few few moments ago. And it's like everything... The way everything kind of is is built out, it's like it would have taken a lot longer than it did, and of course, a lot of the humor falls very flat, so that's never a good thing. Um, you know, the villain is, well, it's just there, so it's not really much like everything ties up in a neat little bow at the end or whatever. Again, that's fine that it happens that way, but there's no real build up to that it just it just kind of all happens um it's really awkward editing i gotta say like the way the story goes it just has it, it plays out like it's taken a long span of time and then it didn't because it's all within like a couple i think the film itself takes place over maybe two three days tops and day one, they acted like it was, uh, you know, weeks, months, and everything. So it's really weird how how it worked. And while I appreciate what the characters are trying to do, you you don't ever really feel very attached to them as characters. They're again, they're just kind of there. And and Sheldon's character O, who you're like, yeah, okay, you can get along with, can be quite annoying at some point. So that doesn't really help. It just seems to be a very simple uh, animated film. So I, little little kids might like it. I don't know. I don't know if they can keep... It's an hour and 34 minutes, so it's it's really too long, too. Um, so I don't know if it can keep their attention, but they're more likely to like it than I did. I just I could not get on board with it. Um, like I said, not a terrible movie. Of course, they have to incorporate music, and that was... A little distracting how often they did it but um, yeah not a terrible movie but definitely not memorable I I won't aside from seeing it and being like oh yeah that movie that's probably about all I remember of this movie so giving it a rating 1 through 10 I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it a 4.8 out of 10 like I said not the worst thing I've seen but definitely not very good and not very memorable and what what was I talking about hmm anyway uh, so if you liked this uh, this video go ahead and click that like button share subscribe to my channel watch my other vids and uh, yeah just share your thoughts with me I appreciate it uh, I don't know why maybe this was about Big Bang no that can't be right Anyway, until next time, peace.